Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and if you're new here, welcome. If you're um, a returning subscriber, you're still welcome. I hope you guys are doing alright, and may you stay blessed. If there's something that you guys want me to react to, you can drop drop the link down below and i'll be more than glad to react to it if you can't drop it here you can find me on instagram as safani or and suggests whatever you want me to react to there so yeah so today i'm going to be reacting to two men dug a tunnel to steal the body of rasulu la i don't know if i said that right but that's what i'm going to be reacting to today so without wasting time let's get into the video In history, there have been few attempts to remove the blessed body of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There was a very famous Muslim leader. His name was Nur al-Din Zinki. Nur al-Din Zinki was part of the Seljuk Empire and he ruled over Syria. And he was the mentor of Salah al-Din al-Ayyubi. One time, Nur al-Din, after praying tahajjud, he went to sleep and in his dream, he saw Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in that dream, he pointed out two men with blonde hair. And he told Nur al-Din, which his first name is Mahmoud, Ya Mahmoud, save me from these two men. Mahmoud woke up from the dream. He was you know, surprised. What kind of dream is this? And he did not pay much attention to it until he saw it three times in a row. Ya Mahmoud, save me from these two men. Allahu Akbar. Jamaluddin al mawsili advised him to not to tell anyone and to immediately go to Medina. It said it took 16 days to arrive. And when he arrived there, the governor of Medina was surprised because he was not notified that he was coming. He inquired about the trip. Nur al-Din informed him why did he make this trip in the middle of the night and without any prior notice. So the governor asked the Sultan if he can recognize the two men he saw in the dream. He confirmed, yes, I can. So what they did is they announced all over Medina that the Sultan is here and he wants to provide a lot of food and gifts to everybody. So when this news spread in Medina, everybody started coming and the whole idea was to see and find out if these two men were among the people coming and taking the, the gifts. So a lot of people came and they all get uh, gifts and food and they were not able to identify those two men. They were not among them. So when they finished, the Sultan asked the governor, are these the only people in Medina that's it? There's nobody else? He said there are two men that came from Morocco recently. They have been praying a lot and they have been giving a lot of money to the people. They're very kind, they're very generous. So he said, can we see them? When they walked in, immediately the Sultan Nuruddin Zinki recognized that these are the same two men he saw in his dream. So after questioning them, the Sultan seeing them in the dream, he knew that they are not telling the truth. So he went to their tent and looked, 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 he did not find anything. And then he saw the carpet, he took it out and under it, there was a lot of money. And after uh, intensive <laughs> search, they found that they dug a tunnel and the tunnel is almost by the chamber, Allahu Akbar. They admitted to their mission and they said, we are here to steal the body of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they were Christians, Moroccans and they want to take it back to Rome. They were sentenced and they were executed. Now, after this incident, Nur al-Din Zinki ordered a trench to be dug around the sacred chamber and the trench will be filled with molten lead in order to prevent any future attempts to steal the body of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allahu Akbar. There is a couple of lessons. Number one, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, He said in Surah Al-Ma'idah, Wallahu ya'asimuka minan nas. Ya Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah defend you, Allah protect you from, from nas, from mankind. 
And he told us many in many places in the Quran that whomsoever harm Rasulullah وسلم, will be harmed in the dunya and in the akhirah. How the leaders of the past, when they heard that there is something uh, harmful to Rasulullah وسلم, immediately themselves did something. getting anything from this is that these two men were actually trying to hide the agenda behind the money they were giving people and it's I feel like this happens all the time sometimes they come in people come in trying to look generous and all those things but then they've got a hidden agenda all for what and then if it's not your time it's not your time why steal the body and then do what with it take it back to Morocco and uh, not Morocco Rome then what is it for Rome to keep? Doesn't make sense. People should respect other people's bodies, I guess. Also for the, the fact that uh, this guy gets to see it in his dream. Sometimes we're shown things in the dream that we shouldn't just um, discard, like just do away with. If you're in touch with your faith, I guess, you learn to act on certain dreams. Some dreams speak the truth, some dreams are just dreams. But in this situation, it was actually what was shown in the dream. And he acted on that and made sure that the body was actually safe at the end of the day. At least they didn't get to the chamber, even though they had dug a tunnel that almost reached the place that they were going to. And they, I just don't get it. Still, the body then, what? At the end of the day, they just lost their lives. So what did they benefit from this other than give lessons to other people that would want to do the same in future and I'm sure other people have tried the same thing as well. So guys, let me know what you guys think, what lessons did you take from this video, if there's anything that you want me to take from this video please comment down below, if there's anything you want me to react to drop the link down below and I'll be more than glad to react to eat make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video